All right, Thanksgiving's coming up. Maybe you'll have some of these discussions or have some of these feelings. And Time Magazine recently had a story that more adult children than ever before are estranged from their parents. What's causing this and what's the solution to mending fences? We've got family therapist Rachel Glick joining us to discuss children. And Rachel, you were saying you were unaware of that article, but you recently wrote one on the same subject. Yes. It's been going on for some time that I'm seeing more and more estrangement happening. And there's a really a shifting in values in our society from the millennials, like people in their 20s, 30s, and 40s. And they have a different idea about the power dynamic in the relationship in terms of them establishing more of the boundaries that they want to have in a relationship and the quality of a relationship they want to have. Are they the ones cutting off yes. this relationship? Okay. Yeah, Maybe too critical or what, do you want to make you know, a statement Sometimes like? it depends. You know, people have different views on that. Um, I think balance is always the best to try to find middle ground. But there are um, a lot of people are, these younger generations are really finding that they are not okay with some of the cultural norms of how their parents have been relating with them. There has been a dramatic shift in the past 50 years. Yes. Yeah. And there's like a, an expectation that the older generation now fit in with some of the more psychologically informed ways of relating, which can relate to boundaries, it can relate to how they support them or not support them. What are some of the things that happen that uh, create these divisions? Well, some of the, the first one is about boundaries, where the older generation, the parent in this case, is getting involved with being critical or unsolicited advice about their partner, unsolicited advice about how they parent or their body or their choices, and that creates separation. And that's a big one. And some of the other ones are just sometimes there's some toxicity that can go on um, that carried on in child, from childhood that now as adults, they don't want that in their life anymore. Mm. So how do you create empathy on both sides so that these people can come together? Well, I really spend a lot of time in my therapy office with adult children and their parents, either one or the other or both together, and really trying to have healing conversations about this. Keeping in mind what each are capable of, what they're ready for to handle, but trying to keep the defensiveness out. It's a powerful thing for a parent to allow the child to express themselves of what it was like for them growing up. It's a very hard thing to do, to be present for that, but giving them a chance to have a voice and really having empathy for what it was like for them. And then also having the child understand and hear the parent about their feelings and their needs. And then you really want to create a new reality going forward. How are we going to do this together and not dwell on the past, but what can we do going forward that both are going to feel comfortable and safe and feel good inside themselves as you connect. It's like having a summit and coming up with an agreement and both signing it. Exactly, yeah. You say don't, That's the goal. <laughs> you say don't do it alone, don't try, because there's so many buttons that people punch. Exactly. Punch and, I really recommend it being facilitated because we think we're better listeners than we really are, and a lot of things can get triggered and then it can, get, it can go downward so quickly. All right, family therapist Rachel Glick, thanks so much for joining My us pleasure. again. so good to see you. And you can find more information on our website at fox2now.com. Ty?